Were you a Girl Scout? Do you know the hack? So you have a bug bite in the field and you find your plantain, whether it be broadleaf or narrow leaf, and you cut, you chew it up and then you slap it on there like a poultice. Hey you, good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we're here in growing zone 6B in New England. And I want to deal with that jar today. So all summer I've been itchy as hell because we have so many mosquitoes. There are so many mosquitoes this year. Um, and I've been whining and complaining about it. And I had this on my windowsill the whole time. This is olive oil and plantain. Plantain comes in two varieties. Broadleaf plantain and narrow leaf plantain. It's not the banana. Plantain is very much just part of our lawn. It gets mowed like everybody else. No matter how much you mow it, it just comes back. So this is what I gathered way back when. Not the banana. And it's been in my windowsill, I want to say almost two years. It's been here a really long time. Um, and we're going to turn it into salve today because I'm tired of looking at it and going, oh my God, I wish I had done that. Good self-care is deciding either fish or cut bait. And also it's really good self-care to tend to your bug bites. In spite of the fact that this was in the windowsill for over a year, I'm still gonna use a tiny bit of heat to uh, see if we can extract any more good oils out of this. I've just poured the oil off into a pot and I'm gonna put this on very low heat and I'm gonna let this go for a little while. I may have left this stuff in the window a really long time, but I set it up right. So let me tell you what I did. Out in the grass, I pulled, I think, a loosely packed pint jar full of plantain leaves. Ran it through the dehydrator on right around 100 degrees until they, they got crispy. Covered it over with the oil and shook it pretty much every day um, until I forgot about it a few months later. The reason I dehydrated the leaves before I put them into the carrier oil, any kind of water getting in there can make it go rancid or get moldy or bleh. So in an attempt to keep out as much water as possible, I dehydrated the leaves beforehand. I did it in the dehydrator. You can hang them up um, in little bundles and just let them air dry too. It takes about a week. Hi again, it's tomorrow. My day just went off the rails yesterday. Frank talk, um, it's been a little struggle bus this week. It's been really, really hard to get into the groove. It's been really gloomy here and it's hard to get started. New day, new run at it. We're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna make the salve. So I've got about three cups of infused oil. The recipe that I'm using is from the Earthbound Farmer's Almanac. To reach the desired consistency where it'll set up in our tins, we want to use a ratio of one cup of oil to one ounce of beeswax. I figure we could do like, mm, okay, so I've got three, four, five, six. Lucky seven. Two ounce tins. There are eight ounces in a cup. Okay, so I have 14 ounces worth of space, right? I've got 14 ounces worth of space. There are 16 ounces in a cup. I may have a relatively unorthodox approach to the math. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should just do one cup. No, there are eight ounces in a cup. <laughs> oh, bless her heart. She has no idea what she's even calculating anymore. I'm gonna do a two cup batch. What I'm gonna be starting with is two cups of our infused oil to two ounces of the beeswax. The next thing that I need to do is to build the double boiler. I'm gonna be using this pan and it's about two inches of water in there. This is the bowl that I'm gonna put on top. It will sit right on there. Just a, just a quick reminder, you already know this. We're working with oil and wax, they're really hot. And you wanna make sure that you've got good stuff like towels and mitts. Don't touch the bowl with your bare hands. Steam is very real, very hot, and hurts very much. Keep your business out of the way of the steam. Let me bring you over my shoulder. 
All right, so we're starting to steam up a little bit. I'm gonna add the wax pellets to it. Oh, look, they're sliding already. I have brought the heat down to medium at this point, and you can see the wax is already starting to pool. So here's my oil, and I have a half cup measure. I'm gonna add this in a little bit at a time. Well, that was really quick. All my beeswax is melted now, so I'm just gonna take the whole thing off the heat. Okay, okay it's half a cup. And it looks like that was a little cool, so I may have to move this back on top of the stove. Okay, that's half a cup. It's the next half cup. What you're seeing is the wax cooling off very quickly with the addition of the oil. Just gonna keep mixing it until that goes down. Okay, so that's just about our first cup. Getting a little bit thick. I'm gonna put that back on top of the burner that's off. So we've got one cup in there. Let's get the next cup in. Mm -hmm. There we go. This is the last half cup. set up. I'm going to walk away from this for a while and I'll see you back here in a bit. Oh y'all. Good morning pretty garden. How's it going y'all? Come harvest. Come harvest. I'm going to have to get in here uh, and bring a basket. There's tons of beans but I've also got ripe and ready tomatillos down in there and I think I even saw some more cucumbers and some peppers. So I'll be bringing those in a little later. The American Beauty Berry Bush is going to yield us up a whole bunch of berries this year, it looks like, if the birds will share with us. That's an acorn squash. That's an acorn squash. These are the grapes on the garage side and I don't know if we're oh hey they are just now it looks like starting to ripen i don't know how much we'll get off of this um it's not as well developed it, there's just not as much sun on this side i wonder if once this all dies back for the winter if i wouldn't be able to move these to the better spot on the other side of the house it looks like the sav set up i'm super excited about that let's take a look here's the one that I couldn't stop touching. You'll see it's got some dents in it. It warms to body temperature, like as soon as you touch it, it goes greasy. I don't know. Maybe the next batch I might add in a little extra beeswax, but this is fine. That smells really nice because I put some peppermint essential oil in it. Um, I did wind up having a little more than seven two ounce jars worth, so I set one up in these cute little mason jars. Oh, it's nice for gift giving, right? There we are. All set. Where it melts to body, to, to the temperature of my hands, um, I would not leave this in the car or someplace where it can melt. I got a feeling it might revert back to a, a more liquid kind of state. Those little lip smacker tins. Do you remember those? Like the top slid off and there was lip balm inside. Who else ill-advisedly brought those to summer camp? Uh, but these came out cute. I'm totally happy with this. 
and hopefully we'll have a little something to stop the itch because did I mention there's so many mosquitoes overall making this stuff was far easier than I thought it was going to be I imagined it to be a lot messier I, I have I, I have no idea what I'm going to, I'm, yeah. I'm going to buy myself a new turkey baster. And there we are. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today while I worked on this long overdue project. I will catch you up soon. Take care. I was going to tell you something. Was I going to tell you? Oh, um.